Have you ever wondered why some people seem to thrive amidst adversity while others crumble under pressure? This intriguing question brings us to the wisdom of Charles R. Swindoll, who famously said, Life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. This quote, simple yet profound, emphasizes the immense power of perspective. You see, our perspective, that is, how we perceive and interpret life's events, plays a pivotal role in shaping our realities. It's like the paintbrush that colors our world. It can turn a gloomy, rainy day into a cozy, peaceful respite, or a daunting challenge into an exciting opportunity. Let's delve a little deeper into this. Consider two people stuck in a traffic jam. One person might view this as a frustrating setback, a disruption to their day that triggers stress and annoyance. But another person might see it as an unexpected opportunity to listen to an audiobook, practice mindfulness, or simply enjoy some quiet time. Same situation, different interpretations, and consequently, different experiences. It's not about wearing rose-colored glasses or ignoring the harsh realities of life. It's about choosing a more empowering and constructive way to interpret our circumstances. It's about transforming what seems like an obstacle into an opportunity. Take the story of Thomas Edison, for instance. After failing thousands of times while inventing the light bulb, he didn't see these as failures, but as steps that were necessary for his eventual success. His perspective transformed what others might see as a discouraging setback into a stepping stone towards achievement. Or consider J.K. Rowling, the famed author of the Harry Potter series. Rejected by multiple publishers, she didn't let this deter her. Instead, she used these rejections as motivation to persevere. Her perspective transformed these rejections into fuel for her determination. So remember, your perspective isn't merely a lens through which you view the world, it's the architect of your reality. The power to shape your life in a meaningful, fulfilling and joyful way lies within your perspective. Choose wisely. But what about our attitude? How does that fit into the equation? Well, let's paint a picture. Imagine life as a grand, unpredictable ocean. We're all sailors navigating through its vastness. Now the ocean's waves and storms, they represent life's unpredictable events. We can't control them. But what we can control is our ship, our attitude. It is our attitude that determines whether we sink or sail, whether we see a storm as a disaster or an adventure. Our attitude can be our anchor or our sail. It can either weigh us down or propel us forward. It is the lens through which we view our world, and it largely shapes our reality. A positive and resilient attitude can turn even the most challenging situations into learning experiences. It enables us to see the silver lining in every cloud and to find the lessons in every setback. Take Thomas Edison, for instance. He failed a thousand times before he successfully invented the light bulb. But he didn't view these failures as defeats. Instead, he saw them as a thousand ways that wouldn't work, a thousand stepping stones towards success. It was his positive and resilient attitude that turned a series of failures into one of the greatest inventions of all time. So, how can we cultivate such an attitude? Well, it starts with self-awareness. Recognize your emotions, thoughts and reactions. Understand that they are a result of your attitude and that you have the power to change them. Next, practice gratitude. Find something to be grateful for every day, even in the most challenging situations. This shift in focus from what's wrong to what's right can significantly improve your attitude. And finally, surround yourself with positivity. The people you spend your time with, the books you read, the media you consume, they all influence your attitude. Choose them wisely. Thus, a resilient attitude isn't just about staying positive, it's about transforming hurdles into stepping stones. It's about viewing every challenge as an opportunity for growth. It's about becoming the master of your ship, and in turn, the master of your life. So, we've talked about perspective and attitude, but at the end of the day, who's in control? Let's delve into that, shall we? You see, the concept of choice and responsibility is paramount when discussing reactions. It's an essential piece of the puzzle. Why, you ask? Because our reactions are a reflection of who we are, they embody our character. They are the compass guiding us on our journey, shaping every step we take. With every challenge or curveball life throws our way, we're presented with an opportunity to choose. To choose how we react, how we feel, 
and how we move forward. It's like being the captain of your ship in the midst of a storm. You can't control the wind or the waves, but you can adjust your sails. Remember, circumstances are just that, circumstances. They're external, often beyond our control. But our reactions, they're all ours. They reside in us. We nurture them, we control them. And by doing so, we wield the power to transform the narrative of our lives, regardless of the circumstances. So next time life presents you with a challenge, remember, the choice is yours. Will you let the situation define you, or will you rise above it? Will you react out of fear, or will you respond with courage and resilience? In essence, your reactions are your own. They're the brushstrokes on the canvas of your life. Finally, how can we harness the power of this 90% that Swindoll talks about? The answer lies in our ability to cultivate a growth-oriented mindset. This mindset, fueled by positivity and resilience, can be our compass in navigating life's challenges. Let's consider practical strategies for improving our reactions and responses. First, remember that every situation, no matter how daunting, presents an opportunity for learning. When faced with adversity, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? This approach shifts your focus from the problem to the potential growth that lies within it. Secondly, practice mindfulness. Being present in the moment allows you to respond rather than react. It gives you the space to choose a thoughtful and positive response over a knee-jerk reaction. Thirdly, make gratitude a habit. Even in the most challenging situations, there's always something to be thankful for. Gratitude can shift your perspective from scarcity to abundance, from what's going wrong to what's going right. Finally, remember that resilience is like a muscle. It gets stronger with practice. Embrace life's ups and downs as opportunities to flex and strengthen this muscle. Each challenge you face and overcome makes you more equipped to handle the next. By adopting a growth-oriented mindset, life becomes a journey of continuous self-improvement rather than a series of obstacles to be feared. You'll find that this mindset leads to a more fulfilling and rewarding life. By embracing the 90%, you're not just surviving life's storms, you're learning to dance in the rain.